So today we're going to be talking about arms. Oh, not these arms. Oh, Adjustable it. rate mortgages. Those are the arms that we're going to be talking about. Come today. on, I've always wanted to have a bicep contest with you, Lane. I think I'd win. No, <laughs> he I'm might. He might. He might. <laughs> But anyways, my name is Lane. I'm Scott. Welcome and, to our video today. And today we're going to be talking about adjustable rate mortgages. And there's a reason why we're going to be talking about these. We're going to call them arm loans. Absolutely. We'll call them arm loans. And I think for those people that are Lane's age or younger, they probably don't even know what this is. Having been a full-time real estate professional for 33 years, when I got into the business, rates were hovering at 15%. The adjustable rate mortgage market was huge. Lane, let's do a quick background on what is an adjustable rate mortgage. Okay, so let's start with a fixed mortgage, which is the most common one. So basically, you're going to be locking in at a fixed fixed rate that's going to stay consistent. Your payment's going to be the same for all 360 payments, all 30 years of that loan. An adjustable rate mortgage, you're going to have a fixed period for a short amount of time, whether it's five years, seven years, 10 years, at a lower interest rate, then after that time, your rate adjusts based on whatever the market's doing. If the rates are up, your rate's going to go up. If the rates go down, your rates go down. So it adjusts, hence the adjustable rate mortgage. Exactly. And we're not going to get into a lot of detail in today's video because it's like a 30,000 foot view just to compare fixed rates with arms. But how those arm rates adjust when they do hit that adjusting point is they're tied to different indexes out in the financial world there. So there'll be usually a basis and then a, an index. And based on where that index is at a given time, that's added to the basis is to create what the market rate is for the mortgage. And then at that point, they can often adjust at an every six month period or so. But again, there's nuances with those. But the main thing to understand with an adjustable rate mortgage is why are they popular today? Why are they coming back into Vogue Lane? Yeah, let's talk about what we're seeing in this particular marketplace with our buyers. Buyers, First of all, uh, prices are up. Uh, mortgage interest rates are up. That means when you combine those two, the buyer affordability is down. So what can we do for buyers to be able to lock in at a home with maybe a lower payment where they're comfortable right now, and that, but that payment stays consistent for that fixed period of time, whether it's five, seven, or 10 years, and then you know maybe they can make some adjustments down the road. And the reason why they're becoming really popular is the average life of a loan is actually less than 10 years. Bingo. And that's, that's what we have to really look at because so many of these young buyers today, they've gotten conditioned to these you know, fixed for 30-year rates at 3% and say, oh my God, this is just amazing. But again, to Lane's point, the average home buyer keeps a loan for just under seven years. No, I, I mean, just, it's between seven and eight years, seven, not, eight. Okay, not under, not okay, under. Sorry. But the two things, and, Fair and, and the reason why is because one, they either pay it off or they refinance. Okay, so maybe if you don't, if you want something... And I'm interrupting, if they pay it off too, it's because they're moving up to another house. They're selling that house and moving on. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And maybe you're the type of person that doesn't want too much risk. So maybe that 10-year arm, the 10-1 arm would be better for you because that it'll be a fixed rate for 10 years. The chances of that rate, of you holding on to that loan 10 years from now are probably going to be slim because, again, the average life of a loan is less than 10 years. And so you probably would have refinanced, sold or maybe even pay it off by that time. Right. And again, the adjustable rate mortgages have always been a popular product when the fixed rates you know, start to rise and are a little bit higher than they've been over time. And then the, the arms come into play to create a viable opportunity for someone to get a lower fixed payment for a certain period of time. So the question that we want to ask our viewers out there is understanding the difference between the two loans and then really understanding you know, what's your home ownership goal? How long do you think you're going to be in this property? That's exactly right. A lot of our first time home buyers are buying condos on a short term basis. They're looking at it as a five year plan, maybe a 10 year plan. They know they're only going to be there between five and 10 years. And they know that they're going to be selling to use the proceeds to buy something bigger as they grow their family or they get married or whatever the life, wherever life takes them. So for these particular individuals, this arm loan might be really beneficial for them because it keeps their monthly payment down. They can lock in at a lower rate than a fixed mortgage rate. And they know that they're not going to need it for that period of time. For, and it'll always stay fixed at that lower That's rate. right, exactly. And again, most of the arms are also fully amortized. So your uh, interest uh, and your principal are such that you're still paying off the loan at a 30-year rate. There are some arms out there that are interest only for a certain fixed period of time. That's a whole other topic to look at. But again, for the most part, most of the arms that we're seeing are what they call fully amortized. So when you start with you know, with year one, you are on a trajectory to paying that off over 30 years. Now, our goal here is just to be able to provide you value. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about buying, hopefully you learn something and hopefully you understand that there are more options than just a fixed rate mortgage for you. Maybe explore what some different arm options are for yourself and play with those numbers, play with the monthly payment, see what is, you know, comfortable for you. But if you have any questions, we have to preface, we're not mortgage professionals. Right. And we, if we need to dig into the weeds a little bit more, we'll go, uh, you know, partner with our mortgage professionals. 
But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. And if you think that we said something that you might that might be of value to a friend or family member, please share us. That's the best thing you can do uh, for showing us some love on this particular video. Absolutely. And again, what we've done today is just jump in the shallow end of the pool with regards to adjustable rate mortgages. If you want to take a deep dive into the deep end, you know how to find us. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.